Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Let's look at the top stories we're following. United Auto Workers Union making plans for a strike authorization vote Tuesday. Meanwhile, U.S. Senator Gary Peters showing his support for UAW members at a Lansing rally. So if a strike does happen, the potential economic impact is said to be $5 billion after 10 days. University of Michigan Flint announcing its interim chancellor for the Flint campus. Donna Fry, staff member since 1987 and current dean of the College of Health Sciences, is taking over the position from current chancellor Debashish Dutta, who's leaving September 15th. Now for Fry, she is currently a Flint Township resident and says she will actively engage the campus community going forward. State public health leaders encouraging parents to get their kids vaccinated before the school year. That's as childhood vaccinations are at their lowest level in more than a decade. So health leaders say preventable disease outbreaks happen in school every year, but staying up to date on those vac vaccines can limit that spread. All right, we have uh, Kyle Gillette with us today who's taking a look at your forecast. Thank you, Blake. As we go throughout the rest of our day today, we're talking temperatures warming up into the lower 70s, so it's going to be a cool one out there. We also have a little bit of wind in that forecast, gusting uh, from the northwest at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So with that wind and those cooler temperatures, it's going to feel a little chilly. I also want to point out those temperatures by the time we make it to you about 7 or 8 o'clock or so, we're going to be already leaving the 70s behind, falling into the upper 60s. So it is going to be cooler this evening. If you've got anything planned later this evening, you're definitely going to want to plan on a, a little bit of an extra layer just because of the wind combined with those cooler temperatures than what we've regularly been seeing across mid Michigan by that time of night. Now as we go into the hour by hour here notice uh, I, the only real thing that I, I'm keeping an eye on are going to be the cloud chances as we go into the tip of the thumb. Other than that it is just going to be beautiful out there for us today with that wind being uh, the only real concern uh, both because of course it's going to be a little breezy out there but also causing some dangerous swim conditions in parts of the Saginaw Bay and uh, the tip of the thumb along Lake on. It's a good idea to save those swimming plans uh, for uh, tomorrow. We're going to see some improvement there, and especially into Sunday afternoon. We'll have some improvement there as well. Temperatures overnight tonight falling down into the upper 40s, lower 50s as we go into the rest of our weekend. A slow warm up by Sunday into the middle and upper 80s. That'll be uh, currently the warmest day in the seven day forecast. And by the time we go into the start of the work week, still uh, very nice weather overall. Lots of sunshine in store. Temperatures lower 80s, so right around where we're supposed to be for this time of year going into next week. We are only keeping an eye on a couple of very minor rain chances right now. The biggest is on Tuesday with a 20% chance. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.